Six Nations 2022, folks. It is less than a week away. Happy days. In many parts of the world, it is still on free to air. There was some talk when the um, Six Nations entered into some uh, partnership with one of those big investment firms that they may decide that it's better money-wise to put the game behind a paywall. But that has not eventuated. So I think good news for the game in your part of the world. Uh, in most of the countries, it's on free to air. Or at least in the six countries that participate in the Six Nations, it's free to air. For those of us in this part of the world, that's like a dream. We virtually never get any rugby free to air down here. But what's the deal? Uh, for the UK, you guys are stuck. Stuck? Well, it's not a bad thing. You've still got your same two normal broadcasters. That's the BBC and ITV. Plus, uh, all the Welsh games are on uh, in the Welsh language on the channel S4C. So, happy this. I know you guys have to pay like a broadcasting yearly fee or something. So, the BBC, I think, is technically not completely free. But if I can access the BBC from here without paying money, it, it kind of seems pretty free to me. I know that's a bit of a hot button issue with some people. But yeah, the games are split. Um, ITV's got the home games for Ireland, Italy, England and France. BBC's got the home games for Scotland and Wales. And as I said, S4C's got all the Welsh games in the Welsh language. So happy days. Those are particularly good services because you can watch live and on demand and VPNs work with them. I'll get to them later. Um, in uh, the Republic of Ireland, it's RTE and Virgin Media Sports. I think that's the one. Um, again, happy days because these are free-to-air services. I've uh, regularly been watching the old URC on RTE this year from down here in New Zealand. Um, and Virgin yeah, is also just kind of pretty stock standard service. So yeah, that's um, also likewise very happy days. So um, Free to air, free to air. I'm not sure if the Irish language channel does the Six Nations. I know they do the URC. You guys will have to let me know. Uh, in France, it's FR2, which is also free to air as far as I am aware. In Italy, it's DMAX. I literally just tried that one now. Uh, that one works as free to air if you want to watch the games in Italian. Um, some of you guys who do watch the games in Italian tell me that Italian commentators are particularly entertaining. Uh, I don't speak really a word of Italian, so... Um, I don't get to appreciate those jokes, unfortunately. Um, now, that's where the kind of free list ends, and we have to get into the paid list. So in South Africa, it's on Supersport. Supersport just has the right to all the sports down in South Africa. So if you guys are rugby fans, you probably already have uh, Supersport. So kind of good news for you guys that you'll already be able to watch the games on your original package. Um, in Australia, it's on, on Stan Sports. Stan Sports kind of took over the rights uh, for rugby from Fox, must be 12, 18 months ago. And they've done a really good job with it. They've got a lot of rugby. Like I know a lot of guys like in the States and whatnot who are VPNing their way into Stan, which is still a paid service just because they've got so much rugby on at a kind of reasonable, reasonable price. So um, yeah, they seem to be really putting full effort into becoming Australia's rugby broadcaster, which is good to know. Uh, in New Zealand, is it, on, it is on on Sky. Um, interestingly, when I looked on Sky's website, they didn't have like it prominently displayed anywhere for a competition of this magnitude, which is this close. Um, but I just checked the fixtures or the, the broadcast schedule for next week or this week, and uh, they've got the games listed. So that's good news because Sky... Kind of like Super Sport has all the rugby, kind of like Stan, uh, but they don't have the URC, which kind of sucks. That's the only one that they're missing. Um, the USA, it's on NBC Sports, which is paid as far as I'm aware. Uh, Canada, it's on DAZN, which is also paid. South America, it's on ESPN, which is a paid one. And much of Asia, I think including Hong Kong, it's on a Premier, Premier Sports Asia, so a paid service. Uh, Japan, it's on, on Wow Wow. So that's a paid service. Um, if you want to check your particular country, the uh, Six Nations website has a list of international broadcasters, but it's not fully up to date because like Australia and New Zealand are not on there, even though I know they have their broadcasters. So their website is slightly out of date, but it's on there. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in watching the games from one of these paid countries on one of these free services, you can do it with a VPN. I do it all the time, like I said, with the old URC because I don't want to pay a separate broadcaster just to watch two games a week. 
So, um, yeah, ExpressVPN is the one I use. I'll put a link down in the description for them. They're an affiliate of the channel. So um, you can jump onto BBC or ITV or S4C and watch the games live on demand if you want to watch in English or Welsh. Uh, RCE and Virgin also work. I've tried DMAX. That works. Um, you can use some Swiss service called Zatu, but that's only for live unless you want to pay. If you want to do on-demand stuff, you have to kind of subscribe. So I'm always pretty happy just to use the BBC ITV or switch over to Virgin or um, RTE, depending on which commentator you want to listen to. Some of them can kind of grind your gears. But yeah, it's really a cheaper option than... Um, than some of the paid services if all you want to do is watch the Six Nations. Like I said, Stan's got a pretty good library if you want to kind of get more. Sky New Zealand's got a pretty good library if you want everything. But if you're only after the Six Nations uh, and you're not in one of the free-to-air countries, probably the cheapest way to get it done is via a VPN. So there you go. Happy days. It's a useful tool. I watch the Premiership games on the VPN as well because Sky, my local broadcaster, doesn't show them all. But the Premiership website has them on. So... Uh, yes, with all the different sporting competitions, especially rugby, split across so many broadcasters, they are a pretty useful tool. I can um, definitely speak from experience for that one. But anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you're watching the game. Do let me know if the Irish Channel does any Six Nations. I didn't see them on the broadcasters list. And um, any other countries that are chucking the games on on your particular services, do let us know. VP in the description if you're keen. Otherwise, you guys take care. And uh, we will enjoy the Six Nations in just a few days. See you guys. Bye.